Okay, so this looks like it's quite an easy question. Um, we're going to start off by just drawing out the car park. It's always best to just do a quick sketch. Um, now it says that the width of the car park is 12 meters um, and the uh, length of it is 31 meters. So to work out the um, distance of the fence needed, since the, distance, since the fence goes all the way around the car park, it's going to be 12 plus 31 plus 12 plus 31, um, which is uh, 86. So the perimeter is 86. So you would think that we need to order 86 meters of fence. But unfortunately, if we order 86 meters of fence, that won't necessarily um, be enough. And the reason being is this statement here. It's correct to the nearest meter. So when they've measured the car park, it's they've got it correct to the nearest meter. So the problem with that is that if we just do a quick diagram to show this, when you do something to the nearest meter, it means that you could either have all the way down here at 11.5 or all the way up here at 12.5 if you've rounded it to the nearest meter, so if it's rounded to 12. So the maximum it could be is 12.5, the minimum 11.5. So worst case scenario, we've completely got this wrong, um, and we think actually, or in real life, it's actually 12.5 meters. Similarly with 31 meters, that could be 31.5 meters. Okay, worst case scenario. So to make sure, and where the question says how much fence should be ordered to guarantee that there will be enough, we're going to do 12.5 plus 31.5 plus 12.5 plus 31.5, and that is 88 meters. Now, a couple of things to state obviously, what you could do is just add these two numbers together and times by two. That's a much quicker way of doing perimeter. Um, second thing is a lot of you will highlight this number and go, oh, that is actually wrong, it should be 12.49 recurring. The problem is 12.49 recurring is exactly the same as 12.5. 12.5 is a lot easier to use in your working out uh, than 12.49 recurring. So I'd advise you to use 12.5 even though we know that that would round to 13, but on a continuous scale, always just use 12.5. The examiner knows that that's the same as 12.49 and will, uh, recurring and it will always credit you the mark. Um, if, it, if the scale is discrete, um, as in if it's just integers, then you always have to pick four rather than five. Uh, it's just on continuous scales and measurements like distance is always going to be continuous.